The purpose of this video is to demonstrate sterile dressing change procedure for a central line at Texas Children's Hospital. There are several different dressings available within the organization. However, the sterile technique of changing the dressing remains the same. This patient has a CHG impregnated dressing. You should change a dressing every seven days, immediately if the dressing becomes damp, loosened, or visibly soiled. You should clean femoral sites with chlorohexidine gluconate, CHG, for a full two minutes and allow to dry completely. Dressing change is always a two staff member procedure. Prior to beginning, you wanna clean whatever surface you're going to be using for your sterile field with hospital approved cleaner. Gather your kit. If your patient needs any special supplies like a special dressing that doesn't come included in the kit, make sure you gather it now. Also, if your patient is allergic to CHG, make sure you get povidone iodine PVP and a saline swab. Or if your patient is less than 28 weeks gestation, less than 1,000 grams, less than seven days old, or has skin breakdown, do not use CHG. Make sure you get PVP. Perform hand hygiene. Open the dressing kit and remove the masks. Place a mask on yourself, the patient, and anyone else within three feet of the patient. Perform hand hygiene after placing masks. Open the dressing kit using aseptic technique. These dressing kits come with a one size fits all pair of sterile gloves. If you know that you need a different size of sterile gloves, please make sure you gather them prior to the beginning of the procedure when you get your kit. Don first pair of sterile gloves. You need to adjust the fingertips of your gloves. You can do so once you have both pairs of sterile gloves on. Next, you want to set up your dressing supplies. Open all packages that are in the kit. The contents of your kit may vary based on what you stock in your care area. However, the technique of opening all of the packages and remaining sterile will be the same. Using that pair of sterile gloves, remove the old occlusive dressing on the CVC. To remove the dressing, start at the bottom of the dressing and roll up and away. You do not want to remove a dressing from the top down.
Assess the insertion site for catheter-related complications, such as redness, edema, odor, bleeding, vein induration, areas of pain and sensitivity, suture status, or drainage. Remove your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Don your second pair of sterile gloves. Scrub the skin around the CVC with a CHG swab stick. Use a back and forth and up and down motion to cover a two to three inch area for 10 seconds per swab. Repeat with the other two swabs for a total of 30 seconds. Allow to dry. If the skin is visibly shiny, the CHG is not dry. Remember, for a femoral site, you want to scrub for two minutes and allow to dry completely. If using a CHG impregnated disc, you may place a stereo strip over the product if applicable. Apply no sting barrier to the outer edges of where the dressing will be placed. Do not apply no sting barrier directly over the insertion site. Place the occlusive dressing. Place date and initials on date tape and apply to the dressing under the tubing. Your documentation and epic should include the date and time of the dressing change, condition of insertion site, external catheter length and number of sutures, tolerance to the procedure and any problems, action taken, and the outcome. If your patient requires povidone iodine or PVP for cleaning, you'll want to make sure you gather it as well as the saline swab prior to starting the procedure. You will need your second assist to help you with this procedure. In your kit, there will still be chloroprep, CHG cleaner, and a CHG disc. However, you will not use these supplies for patients who are allergic or uneligible to have CHG. Have your second person open and hold the PVP for you. Make sure they don't touch the inside contents of the swabs and ensure that you don't touch the outside of the package. Take the PVP and clean in a circular motion moving from the inside out in concentric circles with each swab. You'll repeat this process with the two additional swabs. for a total of three swabs.
Allow to dry for two minutes. Have your second person open the saline swab for you. They'll remove the saline swab and from the inside out, remove the PVP. You do not want to go back to the inside. Be sure to remove all the betadine. If you need to, have your helper hand you a second saline swab. And again, wipe from the inside out, ensuring that you've removed all the betadine. Let it dry and then dress the line as appropriate.